And we start tonight at 10 with video to back up the fear many of us feel every time we hit a busy road in the metro. If someone cuts you off on your morning commute, how do you react? Well, tonight we see one local man regret his reaction in real time in front of police. Police say Paul Marquez was involved in a road rage incident on Paseo del Norte last month, and officers believe it because mm -hmm. they basically saw it with their own eyes. Tamara Lopez got a much better look at how things unfolded and what led to the arrest here, Tamara. Well, Julie, New Mexico State Police officers arrested Marquez shortly after they say he shot at another car while he was on his way to work. Now, the reason the officers were able to arrest him so quickly is because they were right next to the, sh the car that they say he allegedly shot at. Get out of the car! Get over here! Stand over here! Walk right there! This is the moment Paul Marquez knew he was not going to make it to work on time. New Mexico State Police officers arrested him for shooting at another driver on Paseo del Norte last month. And newly released video from NMSP shows how it all went down. This video is from the other driver, Victor Chavez's dash cam. You can see the white SUV, Marquez's, cut in front of Chavez. Chavez says that's when Marquez first pointed a gun at him. Pulled up beside me and he rolled down his window and that's when he flashed me his firearm. Um, I still had all my windows rolled up. I didn't roll my windows down or nothing. But what Marquez didn't know was an unmarked NMSP unit was in the lane to the left of Chavez. I seen the black SUV, which was a state trooper, so I sped up to try to flag him down. Uh, I rolled down the window and I was honking at him, waving him down. Mm -hmm. And that guy pulled up to the right side of me. Um, he didn't realize that there was a state trooper that I was trying to wave down. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, that's when he fired three shots. Chavez's dash cam catches the moment officers pull Marquez over and eventually arrest him. Yeah, you have the right to the yeah, I, I know the whole, I know the whole, just whether you're good. But in a later interview, Marquez seems to drop that attitude. Uh, I was going to work and then uh, this dude who was his, you know, was in altercation with, uh, he cut me off and almost came close to eating me and it, you know, it escalated from there and it shouldn't do. Not my fault. He says he pulled his gun out to scare Chavez. What was going through your mind at that point? Nothing that I just ruined my life. Probably going to jail forever right now. You can see some of the damage from the gunshots as police started looking for the bullets. Officers say he fired two or three shots, but luckily no one was hurt and the victim was alone in the car. How'd you feel after? Nothing, I just, I messed up, I had no idea. Did you see it? felt bad, I shouldn't have done it. What did you think was going to happen? I don't know, I didn't think that far I did. Marquez is facing aggravated assault and shooting at or from a vehicle charges. He pleaded not guilty to those charges last week, and a judge released him from jail on conditions a possible, a, a, ahead of a possible trial, mm -hmm. I should say. Yeah. One of those conditions is not being allowed to drive. Yeah, such a scary situation mm -hmm. that so many of us in the Metro Absolutely. have experienced, but it's so rare to see it all play out on camera mm -hmm. like that. Tamara, thanks for the breakdown there.